Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be kind of a mini small business haul with three different companies. Two of them I don't think I've done hauls on on my channel before so some new companies maybe. So if you like the sound of that do keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe and I will get straight into the video now. The Three companies that I'm going to be talking about today are Sinister Signs, Baby Blue Bat Boutique and also Black and Twisted. So definitely some you've heard of before. I have done a whole video on Baby Blue Bat Boutique with some items she sent me so I'll link that haul in the eye for you if you're interested and want to watch it after. And I've also included Sinister Signs in the Advent Calendar video where I got the haunted plaque kind of sign that's on my door so I did feature them but it wasn't like a whole kind of video dedicated to them and the last company black and twisted is one that I have recently discovered so hopefully some new businesses that you might not have heard of we will start with the sinister signs item because I've had that one the longest sinister signs is a kind of sign based company she does some really cool as i said haunted signs that i have i will put some photos on the screen so you can see like the range of what she does and she also does like 3d printed things like bats and witches hands and zombie hands so definitely some really cool things she also does 3d printed coffin boxes in black and red she did like christmas decorations she definitely has the range i just can't think of any other signs she does <laughs> i mean she does so many like horror themed signs i guess so she definitely has the range and she's so so lovely from when i tagged on instagram she seems so so sweet um and she released that she was doing a not so sinister line with some ghosts which as probably most of you would have guessed is like right up my street and she released five different ghost designs i'll put them all on the screen for you now there was like a a lipstick one a candy corn one a tattoo one one with a knife and then there was the pumpkin spice one <laughs> which is the one that i went for i really liked the candy cane one um not candy candy corn i much prefer pumpkin spice latte to candy corn so i did go for him and i liked his little facial expression he's just loving life and loving autumn so i did pick him up so when i opened the package it was wrapped really really nicely in black tissue paper i mean it's all ruined now but <laughs> and then it had their logo on here on the sticker so that's their logo sinister signs and then there was also this business card and it says handcrafted spooky home decor specializing in hand painted wooden plaques and 3d printed merchandise so that's what it says on the back and then it's got their instagram and also their website they're not actually on etsy so they do have their own website i will leave all the links that you need in the description box if you're interested in checking out these shops which highly recommend you do there was just my receipt and it says he's called pumpkin spice Peyton. i'm not sure if that's his name um so my receipt was in there and also this leaflet which again has their like name and logo on and it just basically says thank you you could really easily put this as a print if you liked the look of this for me i i wouldn't because there's a spider on it <laughs> there's quite a big spider um but it would make a really nice print and then yeah as i said this is the pumpkin spice ghost so it is like a wooden sign it is quite thick so hopefully it won't be too heavy the only thing i was a bit concerned about is i'm not really sure how to put it up the last one i had i literally just blue tacked and it was fine but where i'm planning to put this one if it falls down it would break stuff <laughs> so i'm thinking maybe i'll attach a hook to the back of this one just to make it more secure i'll just show you where i'm planning on putting him um hopefully i'll remember where my camera is so you can see up there <laughs> this is a weird angle that's my cozy ghost and then there's the grimly fiendish crafts ghost that she made me and there's basically a gap there so that's where I'm planning to put him, kind of with my whole cosy autumn ghost collection. So he's going to go up there, um, but it's basically a white painted 
wood with this really cute face and these are all hand painted and then he's holding a little pumpkin spice latte in a coffee cup so i loved the effect of this i'll just grab the pricing quickly okay so he actually cost six pounds fifty originally i thought they were going to be ten pounds but he only cost six pounds fifty and then shipping was four so he did cost in total £10.50 which I feel like is a good price considering it's a small business it includes shipping and also the size of him is really good as well so he is the little pumpkin spice ghost that I ordered if you're not into ghosts she also does as I said some horror related things so definitely go and check out her shop she does some really nice items I'm not sure why my camera's gone red I don't know why my face looks red I don't know if that bear's thrown it off I don't I do next i will go on to the brand new company that i hadn't heard of before and as i said the company was called black and twisted so i follow them on instagram and they kind of make wool hoops kind of similar to grimly fiendish crafts but in, in their own style i did order this because i saw it and i was like oh my gosh that's so cute and i was actually on a walk so i was literally <laughs> buying it as i was walking um and it's basically a little ghost hoop, which looks like this. I mean, it's so cute. So it was wrapped in this black tissue paper and it says, thank you. And then attached to that was this really nice label and it says, Kirsty, thank you so much for supporting my small business. I hope you love your hoop. Love Morgs, black and twisted. So that must be her name. And then on the back, there is this cobweb design. So that was also in there. And then this was wrapped up in the black tissue paper. And it's just so cute. <laughs> so it's basically a ghost in a jar. She did a whole collection of these. I think there was five in total. I will, again, put a photo on the screen. Along with other things she does, I'm not too sure what else she does because this like drew me in straight away and i was like oh my gosh i need that but she did these in a whole bunch of different sizes i believe they have ranged from about 10 to 20 pounds for some of the bigger ones this was actually the smallest one and i was expecting it to be a lot smaller than this um but this one did cost me 10 pounds and i believe shipping was two pounds i'll just double check yeah shipping was two pounds so the total for this was 12 pounds which i felt like was such a good price and i did get this one on her etsy shop so i as i said i will leave all the links in the description she did do a restock of these and i believe they sold out again so if you were in interested in one of these like ghost bottles um definitely like get in there quick if she restocks them again because they were really popular and i can see why <laughs> so the details of this is it's on like a wooden effect hoop which is a plastic which makes it light and then there's one of these hooks so you can really easily put a pin in the wall and then just put it on and then there's this really nice ribbon detail which i feel like finishes off this piece really well and then the actual material is white so the stitching is black and there's this really cute ghost in a jar there were also ones that had like double ghosts that looked really cute and then i love how the backs finished off so there's this piece of material that's been like stitched so neatly on the back of it um, and then there's her sticker and logo there that says black and twisted it just feels like a really nice quality well-made piece it just feels so nice so this was the piece that i got from her as you know i am obsessed with grimly fiendish crafts anything with a hoop i'm just like yes i just feel like they're so effective and such, like a nice affordable way to get a small business's art on your wall like 10 pounds for this i feel like is a good price yeah this was the next one um i'll definitely be going back and seeing what else she has because i'm not too sure what else she sells this was the little ghost hoop um i absolutely love him so i really want to get this video filmed quickly so i can actually put these things up because i don't want them just to sit in a box so yeah definitely go and check out her shop i definitely will <laughs> so that was black and twisted and then the last shop is baby blue bat boutique as I said, I did do a haul on her. So her packaging is the black and white striped bag. And then it says, you are my moon and stars on the washi tape there to close the bag. And then I did order one necklace that I said I was after actually in that video that she just released. So this is her business card. 
So it does say her name there, Baby Blue Bat Boutique. And then it says, handmade jewellery for the strange and unusual. It's got her Depop, which is her main selling platform, Facebook and her Instagram. She always posts on Instagram if there's like a new release. So definitely follow her on there. And it says, thank you, Kirsty. I've included a new product too. Hope you like them, Kate. Kate is the owner of Baby Blue Bat Boutique. She has amazing hair. <laughs> so I do follow her on her personal account too. And again, she's a really nice seller like all of these sellers are so so nice everything came in these black organza bags and there was actually this sweet in there that was sticky toffee pudding and it was like a sweet and it was one of the best sweets i've had so i really enjoyed that <laughs> it was like a english puddings collection and i got very excited when i saw that and it was delicious <laughs> but this was the necklace that i bought from her i might take some photos in this as I'm wearing like all red my nails are actually not chipped for once but this is the necklace that I bought from her and it's basically an acrylic um, and it's the poison apple from snow white so what I loved about this was the glitter acrylic I just think it's gorgeous like with the black it stands out so so well it is on a bale and then on a silver plated chain with a lobster clasp and I believe, I'll just double check, yes, you can put the clasp in at like any length on the chain, which I really appreciate. So yes, that's the first piece. This one cost, I think it was £4.50. Again, I'll double check. Yeah, this one cost £4.50, which is an insane price for something like this. And shipping was £1, so my total was £5.50. So absolutely love that. I will definitely get a lot of use out of this. Um, definitely something I will wear. As I said, I might swap it out with this because I feel like this would really suit this outfit. So that was the actual piece I bought. There was also this really gothy sticker with this skeleton with roses. And then the new product that she put in for free for me, which was so, so lovely of her, was a charm bracelet. Um, I'm actually in need of a charm bracelet. So this was perfect. And this is like a little spooky charm bracelet. So the actual thickness of this is really nice. Like it feels like a really nice quality charm bracelet. There is a lobster clasp on here. I might wear this today actually. <laughs> and then there are one, two, three, four, five charms in total. Um, so the first one is this really pretty moon with stars. She also does earrings of these that I did a giveaway on in that other video. There's a bat, a pentagram with a moon. The only one I'm not keen on is the spider, <laughs> but it is quite cartoony looking, so it's, it's all good. And also a little ghost and the thickness of this is really nice. So that's a really nice charm bracelet. Um, I'll definitely get some use out of that. And I think the charms look really pretty. As I said, the only one I'm not too keen on is the spider, but it's all right because he's not too intimidating and scary looking. <laughs> so that was the charm bracelet. I'm not sure how much these sell for on her shop, um, if you were interested in one. I haven't actually seen them on her shop. Oh, she's also released these gorgeous Death Head and Luna Moth necklaces. Again, I'll put some photos on the screen. I can see myself going back for one of those because they look really pretty and like they look like a really nice quality. She also does a green poison apple. Um, but from what I can see, I'm not seeing the charm bracelets on her shop. So maybe they'll be coming later. So if you are interested in one of these, definitely, as I said, follow her on Instagram because that's where you'll find out about the new releases. And I managed to film this all before my camera battery died because it's flashing at me and it has been for about 10 minutes. So I really hope you enjoyed this kind of shorter haul. Um, I love the pieces that I got. I know that I haven't been doing many like focused on one business small business Saturday videos like I used to but I'm really trying not to buy things for the sake of it so if I've got like one thing from each shop I'd rather do like a video of all of them rather than wait and then it be irrelevant <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video anyway do give it a like if you did and comment down below if you've heard of any of these shops if you've bought from any of them before I'm sure you'll have heard of Sinister Signs she is quite popular but do let me know don't forget to press the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload and as I said at the very beginning please do subscribe if you like these types of videos and hopefully I will see you in my next one bye